friends welcome to my channel so in today's video i'll be discussing this new feature aws devops agent so basically as i showcased in my previous video the security agent it is similar to the one like we have another agent that is frontier agent that basically resolves and proactively prevents like incidents uh, continuously improving the reliability and performance so basically it will in investigate all the incidents and identify all the operational improvements that we can have in the environment. So basically this agent will be learning from our resources that we spin up and their relationship. So basically it will targeting the like observability tools, run books, any code repos, any CI CD pipelines that we have. So all those things will be monitored. So we can also like correlate the telemetry code deployment data to understand so all these things like coming up like supporting this application in a multi-cloud as well as in a hybrid environment so it will tackle both of them so the key features we have over here like uh, automated incident investigation so it will automatically start investigating immediately whenever any alert or any ticket is being raised so it interact, it's having interactive investigation chat that we have. I will showcase that all the details. Then we have the mitigation plans it will provide you. What are the recommendations or suggestions? It will give you the whole details. So let me go to the DevOps agent. So you can see over here, you can search in the, over here on the top, AWS DevOps agent. You can click on this. I've already created its space. It is similar to the one, the security agent. So it is also having the web interface. So you can see it is currently in the preview mode. So you can see the, the way I have created the space. So similarly, I have to create the space for my DevOps agent. So once you create the agent space, you can go to the details over here. So it will automatically scan all your resources, your entities, your relationship. So basically in order to set up the foundation, it will go and scan and see the excess, what, what are the relevant things and all. And it will discover the new resources and add it to the list. So you can see it currently has a uh, find it to like 599 total resources discovered including 153 other resources across 26 resource types. So you can see it has categorized over here. It gives you a complete detail. What are these? You can go and dig into this. So this is the normal view that you will be getting over here. Then you can have a topologic graph also. So basically it's like, uh, I think better this one I will show you in the it's quite smaller. You can have over here a filter that shows system, container, and resources. So you even uh, even if you didn't like this view, you can just go to the web app over here. That will automatically get spinned up. You can go to the operator access. So when you are creating an initial space, make sure you are creating the roles. So you can see this is the dashboard we have over here for the incident response. So this is our DevOps center over here. It will load the topology data. By default, this is the container. You can choose components over here. And you can, you can see over here, I have so much of things over here, the buckets, uh, security groups, VPCs, security groups, and these are my buckets over here. Okay, so this is how you can uh, filter this by resources also, components also, container. Okay, so like this you can zoom and you can check. Okay, so now coming back to this interface over here you can see we have over here web app similar to the security agent and we can have the link to it now here 
if you go to the capabilities over here now if you want to integrate your github gitlab to this in order to the devops agent to scan your cdi cd if something went wrong and all so in order to investigate the deployment and uh, releases so it will automatically pick up from there so if you see over here uh, currently this is a primary source that my account is there you can add multiple accounts secondary sources then we can have a telemetric data you can have a diner phrase and data dog if you want you can add it over here so that's the additional add-on you can do it now if you want to have a pipeline you can see currently nothing is there you can click add over here you can choose over here github and gitlab it is similar to the one that we did in the security agent you can choose over here again you can see communication and mcp server so once you click on the register it will definitely go to the github so i'm not going into that you can just see the way we did in the security agent you would just click submit then it will validate your github credentials then you have to choose the report then that's all so it will automatically get connected over here in the capabilities so similarly you can have the communication agents like slack and service now if you want then mcp servers if you have then if you want to have some so web hooks if you want any third party applications access if you want it you can do it over here so you can provide the web book url and you can invoke now these are the different sources that basically enhancing the agent capabilities you can add it from here uh, topology remains the same that is the overall resources that you are spinning it up now here the very interesting part over here like once you have this you can just go to the incident over here you have to click over here start investigation so you can see these are the different uh, tags basically latest alarm high cp usage you can choose and you can click on start investigation so i've already clicked today only you can see over here so one investigation so this is a detailed report over here when you click on it it basically opens up this interface now you can see the investigation timeline coming over here and side by side there is a chat being open now if you scroll it down okay user requests a title investigation at this time so there is no start date no end date just for today then assistant response so this is like a conversation going on then it's fetching the data so the very first thing that it picked up is the alarm history so if you go down you can see over here so it went to this and view details so if you go into the view details zero history found so there is no alarms and all so similarly you can go to each one of them so you can see assistant response the incident timestamp is very recent no cloud watch alarms were found in the immediate time frame so similarly describing and if any alarms is being described alarm history then lookup events then we have uh, any instances that we have ec2 instance so you can click on this so we don't have anything no reservations nothing is there so even let's go to the functions over here so let's see the lambda functions in this region over here so let's see the we don't have in this region, maybe in other region. Then we have list the clusters. So again, you have to add on to the capabilities. Then only you can see load balancers. So it, it just basically scans each and every component, APIs, then we have the log groups and all. So after scanning all those things, it gives you a response like no cloud watch alarms, no active compute, no database resources, no load balancers, no API gateway. So basically it's give you the detail like, uh, like investigation. So in the end it gives the, uh, okay, investigation has been completed. If something is there, it will give you the option, go to the root cause, and then you can get the recommendations and all similarly we have the preventions over here so depending upon your investigation so if you have something the summary it will give you so you can see past incidents nothing is there and it will give you the recommendations over here so these are the basic uh, category they have defined code optimization observability infrastructure and governance so based on that it will provide you so you can run and it will give you the prevention report so do give a try, integrate with the GitHub, run some pipelines and see what kind of uh, investigation summary you will be getting over here. 
Okay, so do give it a try. It's still in the preview. So you can basically enhance the cap capabilities of this DevOps agent and you can give it a try to it. I hope you like the video. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.